All right, so it's day number 18 of the NRV 31 Days of NRV Fun Challenge. We're at the Radford University Planetarium. We just watched a great planetarium show, learned all about the night sky. And we are here with Alec Frazier. Mm -hmm. um, Red Herman, the director of the planetarium, is actually in Alaska on a uh, trip. So Alec will be filling in and answering all our great questions here. So Alec, can you tell us a little about the planetarium? Like, what is it? What do you guys do there? All right, so I mean, the planetarium, it is a projector inside of a large dome, and what it can do is it will, you know, it simulates the night sky and the daytime sky as well. So what we usually do is we can actually give kind of like a nighttime school, uh, you know, tour um, at any given time during the day, any time of the year, you know. We don't have to go outside when it's frigid, cold, or, you know, burning up hot. We can just do it right here, kind of the comfort inside the building here. Um, and it's, I guess it's nice. What we usually do is we use it for a lot of education purposes. We bring in education majors. We bring in astronomy. Um, classes sometimes bring in a ton of kids from the school system, especially middle school and elementary. We, we, you know, we have what's called RU Science Days, and we, this is definitely like something we always get them to do. And we also actually do this for, like I've done this for actually a special needs group once, and we actually, it was, that was interesting because we had to actually use the store behind you for all the uh, wheel, you know, kind of like these motorized wheelchairs to get in. So we, we, it's kind of like just a good way for, I guess, the science department in general to just kind of get outreach to the public um, because it's, you know, planetarium kind of a very nice, friendly way to promote everything. Gotcha. Now you guys have, during the semesters, you guys have shows every Tuesday night, every Thursday night, and then Saturday morning. Yes. And admission's free to come to these. Yeah, they're completely free. We, we don't charge anything ever. And if you have any special groups, we'll, we'll do that as well. I, I mean, I did one last Friday for a middle school group, just because. <laughs> <laughs> and and why, why free? Why not charge uh, admission? This I mean, this is this is all from Radford University. I guess it's just where it's a state-funded school. I mean, I... Because like you say that, and actually I do, I do get paid a little bit for doing these. I don't think it's like state minimum wage, but I mean, I, I very often run over hours and just do these for volunteer work. Just, I mean, I, I would do them whether or not. I just, I just enjoy doing it. So that's great. And besides the planetarium shows, you show us the actual night sky, so you can go outside and identify the constellations, right? Right. Yeah. You can walk right outside the door right now from what I showed you. Look up and try not to be too naive about it. The, the outside sky will look just like the planetarium <laughs> sky. So. It, it all matches up the exact same way, just a little bit bigger. <laughs> gotcha. And now, these, now granted, it's Bradford University, but you said earlier, students can come. You invite anyone can come to attend a planetarium show. You can be 60 years old, senior citizen, down to probably, you know, you don't want a baby, but, you know, three, four, five years old where you could see this. So it's for anyone, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we do have, the reason we have a kid show, certainly, is because Sometimes we, we, we kind of do have two sort of realms of shows, one's for younger kids especially, and then one's for, you know, older men and up, and the, those older ones typically kind of definitely go from, I guess, kind of like, I don't know, I'd say like early honesty teenagers all the way up to really older guys and girls, so like, I don't know, I've had some, I've had really old people come in, I've had extremely young, I've had babies, you know, prime in the middle of the show, <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely, and I, I actually even love when we get people from Virginia, Virginia Tech in particular that come over here to just see our shows. So that's always kind of a cool thing. Um, well, and during our show, you were talking about you guys are getting ready to get a new, um, what's the word, the, uh, the projector. I yeah, we're, getting, we're actually getting an entire new planetarium. A, an entire new planetarium. Mm -hmm. So what what are you excited about for the future with, along those lines? Uh, I'm just excited because, like, the one we have, like, it works very well. It still does very awesome, you know, presentations and stuff. It's just, it is very old. It, we've had some problems, like you even saw tonight, we had a few issues with the projector as far as how it looks and stuff. but. You know, it, it's old. It's past its due date, it's, and it's, I'm just excited that we finally can get a new one. It's going to be bigger. We're going to have more people in there. It's I, I, that's what I'm excited about. What I'm not excited about is I'll probably be graduated by the time it's working up and running. Uh, so that's that's what gets me that little bit down. But it's okay. I'm, I'll be come back definitely as an <laughs> alum to see it. Well, cool. And the very last question we always ask. So say someone at home is watching this right now, our interview here, mm -hmm. and they've never been to the planetarium. What would you say to them? Who are you know they're thinking about the kind of the fence? What would you say to them? What can they expect? Why should they come to Planetarium and check it out? I mean, why should you come? I mean, if, especially if you're interested in knowledge. I mean, a lot of people like looking up and just seeing stars. A lot of people like are interested in things like astronomy and things like physics or like just science in general. This is just a really awesome, I don't know, it's just an awesome way to kind of, I guess, boost your wonderment about it. It's a really good way to inform yourself about these sort of things. I think it's even exciting even if you don't have the big interest. Because, you know, once again, there's not a lot of science jargon with this. It's, it's very much just... Here it is. Look at the beauty of it. Let's look at the beauty of nature. You know, it's, there's not a lot more to it than that. I just I think it's good because of how simple it is, but yet it can still get really complex if you want it to. Gotcha. And you can't beat the price. Oh no, it's free. It's absolutely <laughs> free. And as far as I'm concerned, always will be. If I can, at least if I can prevent it. 
Well, very, I couldn't see Dr. Herman changing that either. So. Well, very cool. Thank you for taking time with us and letting us see your show tonight. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Definitely.